right, so here is the longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple, former UFC women's bantamweight champion Holly Holm. DC, she's got the highlight of all highlights. She'll be looking to produce another one here tonight. That night she knocked out Ronda Rousey was absolutely insane because Ronda Rousey was still riding super hot. Nobody thought she had a chance. Set up that beautiful head kick just because, as always, Holly Holm will follow a game plan to a T. One of the smartest fighters in the entire UFC uses her brain, her skill, and her footwork in order to set traps for opponents. And then she strikes and strikes to finish the fight. Holly Holm is a phenomenal fighter. And when her back has been up against the proverbial wall, she comes out and dominates someone like Megan Anderson, as she did back at UFC 225. Holly Holm chasing further greatness here tonight. to the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense title. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Holly the Preacher's Doctor. Oh! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Manon the Beast Beyond! One of the best in the business, Red Herb Mike. Dean, is our referee Red. tonight. So we get another look at Holly Holm tonight, still trying to hook him back to the form that saw her knock out Ronda Rousey late in 2015. She's dealt with some adversity recently in the UFC. We'll see if she can get another finish tonight. Fjord going for the body, missed with that kick. Straight punch lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, oh she gets inside and gets the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. And very active. She lands a nice punch to the head. Well, she's going head hunting, but it's working. Great combination. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice hook there by Fuel. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike. She's got to get out to the center of the oxygen, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. She 
Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> nice kick. She gets it very close and gets to the single call time. Home gets caught by the straight punch. It won't take many of those. Another good stick to the head. Home gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Strikes have connected for Holly Holm. And now another beer thrown on both sides. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. Oh, she snaps off another stiff jab. Perfect employment of the jab here tonight. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh, with oh. well, authority, the body. Round two coming up next. All right, heading back to the corner, and Holmes got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round. She absorbed a whole lot of damage, and now she's dealing with a cut that candidly above the eye could be in a much better location. This is a bad place, J.A. The blood is leaking down her face. She looks a bit dejected. She looks concerned because she is getting pieced up by her opponent. And now, to top it off, there's a cut right over the top of her eye. She is in a lot of trouble, Annie. Yeah, and we got the best cut men and women in the world, but I'm not sure there's anything that they're gonna be able to do to... That's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's gotta go chase her down and get another one off the finish Great job fighting behind the limb. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Lands the jab. Well, without much resistance, she continues to find a home for that jab. Splits the guard perfectly, just like she did in the previous round. Oh, big right hand, yes. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Beautiful kick there. Oh, she's got that long reach, and that helped her with the counter punch there. Down to three minutes, not a good on the round. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. Take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. This, this. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and rage. Pretty strong jab there by Fuel. Just missed with the left there. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Fjord gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, 
Huh. All right, round three coming up next. All right, take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch. So a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another Ready round. Fight. I thought it was Ready. over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end the fight. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Big left hand. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy. Oh my goodness, back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Gets in the clinch. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to. Oh, oh big elbow. Floor's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Immediately gets the underhook. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Holly Holm. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Let's attack that lead leg. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moved. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Under a minute now to go in the round. Seconds to go in the round. Oh. Next three rounds, oh. we're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing.
Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you gotta get on the outside, limit the damage getting between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Fjord's eye is closing up. Good lead left. Well, confidence has never been an issue for her, but I'm not sure she's ever been this confident after getting that huge knockdown in the previous Well, round. she should be confident. She was landing everything, and then she finally got that knockdown to end the beginning of the earlier round. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, big elbow. Good jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, so she lands again to the body and seemed like maybe a winch from her opponent there. Those are starting to pile up. Yeah, the winch will turn into big emotional reaction yeah. if she continues to take these shots. She's got to do something different, man. She's got to do something that will tell her opponent that these will not land anymore. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Final seconds of round four. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Listen, we lost that last round. We're probably down on the scorecards. I need you to go out there and fight smart. If you start losing... Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Beautiful kick lands there. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Surprise here, she backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. All right, well, if you've been watching, you know her uppercut has been absolutely on point here tonight, DC. No reason to think she won't get right back. Oh, she's got to keep pressing now. That's how you finish a fight. Oh, Home gets the clinch here. Let's see where she goes now. Here, but she is on wobbly legs. Oh, Superman punch lands. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. It's work. Got to look for the finish. Under two.
two minutes now to go in the fight. because she's so Look aware, up. so Look on up. top of the grappling transitions. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Yours right back to the full mount. Great job landing from the top position. This is a terrible position. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still! Champion of the world, Manon, the Beast, Beyond! All right, so there she is. You heard it from Bruce Buffer and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. This is a woman who has had the target on her back for quite some time. And this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit in recent UFC history. She wants to buck that trend. And tonight as she gets the nod by way of decision, that is certainly a big step in that direction.